This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit, the Rekakwadash, and salutation to the elect whom the Lord has given ears to hear. Be thou not curious on how the ungodly shall be punished. <clears throat> right? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will eventually make a move on them. Right? And the move that the Lord is going to make on them is going to be so severe. You just want to hope that you're, you don't fall to your own sword, so to speak. Right? Also, it's more important, all right, to worry about the, the miracles that the Lord is going to bring to you. Lord willing, you be of the elect. Lord willing, we be of the elect, right? It's less that's going to be saved than that's going to be destroyed. As a matter of fact, Right, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 16. Like as a wave. Well, let's read now. So we was at 13, so we'll read through. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is. And for whom. The world is created. Then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. Right? So a wave, you know, is many, 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 many times greater than a drop, as we all know. All right. And it's going to be the same with our enemies. The scriptures say, let me grab that one. I think it's in Nahum. Yes. It's in the book of Nahum. Chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to get angry, but his power is great, and he never lets the guilty go unpunished. Right. As a matter of fact, remember what the Lord said in Psalm 37. He said, the wicked seeketh to slay the righteous. The Lord will not leave him in his hands. The so-called white man and those that follow him, those that have the same spirit come against the righteous. To where these demons, you know, fuck with brothers, as we already know, I can't. And as well as in our personal lives. You know. Case in point, no light. For many years, he was calling brothers rapists. All right, and look how the Lord got him. Yahweh Shai 
And we can't forget that, man, because, you know, and it's truth, it takes patience. You know, we must know that it takes patience in serving the Lord. Right? Patience, and um, which goes along with suffering, right? Because we have to suffer. We have to suffer the wicked until the Lord takes him out of the way. But we know eventually the Lord will take him out of the way. We can learn from the stories, the acts, and the stories of our apostles that we have today. As well as, of course, the, the stories of old. Right? Let me grab this. This is, um... Okay, yeah. The book of Sirach. Chapter 10. Verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by... Um, this is a good one, too. But, um, let me see. Like I said, that's a good one, but I want to jump down to, uh, verse 14. Right? Like I said, that's a good one because of, uh, speaks on how unrighteous dealings, right? The, for unrighteous dealings, the wicked will lose. That's pretty much what Sirach the 10th in chapter and verse 8 was saying. It's saying. But I want to jump down to verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon, brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them such and, and overthrew them utterly. Utterly means completely. Right? Let's see. Hmm. Right, so utterly means completely. And we saw, man, brothers, <laughs> watching the elder apostles and the elder bishops, they do their, their weekly Saturday. I meant their weekly Tuesday uh, stream. And they was, they was chafed in the spirit. They were very hot, you know, and rightly so because the wickedness of this place has gone forth. You know, the wickedness of this place is going forth even greater, which means the cries of the righteous is going forth even greater. You know, in the eyes that those men have, you know, it's very keen, you know, it's very uh, keen on, on, on wickedness, you know, especially, like I said, them men, because, you know, brothers, they see things. You know, they watch themselves as watchmen and brothers constantly sending them stuff. So I could just imagine what them brothers see, man. But it says uh, pride is like a fountain pouring out sin. Let me start at 12. Pride has this beginning when a person abandons the Lord, his maker. Pride is like a fountain pouring out sin. And whoever persists in it will be full of wickedness. This is why the Lord brought terrible punishments on some people and completely destroyed them. The Lord has overthrown kings and put humbler people in their place. Right? And we very, we hope and pray, you know, that we remain on the side of the Lord. To the end thereof that the Lord is going to set us up. You know, and um, the Lord is going to set us up for keeping his word by us. All right. A lot of times, you know, as a man, you want to take judge. You want to pass judgment yourself. All right. But humbling yourself to the mighty hand of the Lord. 
Did not the scriptures say, resist the devil, he will flee from thee? Let me grab that. These are scriptures that we must, we must hold dear to. James chapter 4 verse 6. But he give him <coughs> But he give him more grace wherefore he saith God resisteth the proud but giveth grace unto the humble Submit yourselves therefore to God Resist the devil And he will flee from you Draw nigh to God And he will draw nigh to you Cleanse your hands ye sinners And purify your hearts Ye double minded Be afflicted and mourn and weep Let your laughter be turned to mourning And your joy to heaviness Right And therefore brothers that's what this truth does. It turns you serious. Right? But at the same time, it gives you a lot of um sorrow of heart. Just like Yahweh was he was well acquainted with grief, seeing the wickedness of his people, right? Not accepting him for who he is. And our people don't accept the message that we bring, which is Yahweh Shai. Nor do they accept us. You know, because brothers, whether you know it or not. You know, you we brothers have a light on them and what the world hates. Right? You got people in the world that for some reason they just don't fuck with you. They just don't like you. You know, and this is what it is. But it says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. And the most high is going to lift brothers up without a scratch. You know. Without a stain uh, So to speak on ourselves Meaning He's going to pass judgment on, and on our enemies And hold us safe Right It's not the scripture say Proverbs 10 to 22 The blessings of the Lord make it rich And he addeth no sorrow with it So however the Lord is going to bring judgment on our enemies We're going to see it But we're going to be uh, uh, Far off As a matter of fact it does not tell us in Revelation 15 that um the elect shall be singing a song of Moses, right? As they stand and look upon a sea of fire, roughly paraphrased. Meaning they're gonna be above the firmaments in the outer space, looking down upon all their enemies get judged. Right? Because here it is, this devil is a fucking, you know, a trafficker, you know, the biggest drug dealer, the you know, the biggest mass murderer. But we'll put all that on the man, you know, not just on the man of the Lord, but the people of the Lord. Nevertheless, the men of the Lord is the only ones that really give a fuck. But, um, yeah, man, with that, shalom to the elect.